All right, uh, Shalom. Before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, The waters to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. Vashem Kodashraka. The waters to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all of Akim. Walk, walk in, uh, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. All right, basically, basically his lesson is going to be about how you're, uh, don't, don't turn to the dark side. All right, and the meaning of that phrase means don't uh let the demons conquer you all right don't become a fallout or uh don't be a rebel bait continue on in the work all right U ultimately that's uh not of anyone's control but while you're in this thing push and do what you're supposed to all right don't don't uh don't give in to satan all right fight the demons all right uh i got a preset one yeah this is uh This is uh Second Peter's two and ten, because uh I'm so lucky this Second Peter's one and ten because uh, Akia mentioned something that was uh highly important. It is um basically it's not in our control if we're chosen or not. You know if the Most High is gonna allow us to continue this thing or not. But while you're in it, what you can do is give diligence to make your call and election short. So this is first Second Peter's one and ten. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. God, uh, oh, you already broke it down. Kind of, you know, because basically we were just uh, before we started the video, we were just looking at a whole bunch of Star Wars clips. All right? If anyone knows anything about Star Wars, you know that that uh, the shows and movies they show. The eternal struggle be between uh, good and evil, uh, the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do, and the consequences of both. All right, if you're doing uh, the right thing, all right, or, and for us, if you're doing what's right in the eyes of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, you're going to be rewarded. But if you do the evil, if you go to things that are wicked for your own selfish desires, it never turns out good. All mm -hmm. right, you might get uh, that Satan might give you benefits on the short end of the stick, all right, but then you have to deal with the with the the latter end. All right, things might seem pleasurable in the beginning, turning to Satan, you might get uh, what you want. Like you can look at these entertainers in the world, they sell out, they get all this money, they get the women they want, but look at their latter end. They catch STDs, get brought up in trial, lose all their money. All right, so for us in this truth, we can't uh, give in to Satan, all right, no matter how, no matter what he tempts you with. Uh, and the scriptures say, resist the devil and he shall flee. You know, for an example, uh, a great example of a, of an individual, you know, who resisted the devil was Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai came to, I mean, Satan came to Yahweh Shai, tempted him, you know, to do uh, certain things. But, but what was the latter end? What did Yahweh Shai do? You know, he rebuked him, and and, and he uh, he rebuked him with the scriptures. You know. Yeah. And, and, and what is what is what is this? What is these scriptures? These scriptures is our light, man. You know? If somebody got something, they can pull it. God, I got something real quick. Uh, I got something as well. Romans 1 and 28. Even as they did, even as they did not take to retain Yahweh in their malice, Yahweh gave them over to reprobate minds to do the things which are not convenient. Being fulfilled with all uh, unrighteousness, fornications, wickedness, covenants, malicious, and full of envy, and murder, and debate, and deceit, and malignity, and whisper. Which is which is all things that are, that are in somebody that's dark, in somebody that's on the dark side. You know, that's not the, those things aren't the behaviors or the characteristics of somebody that's that's in the light. You know, yeah. and and hopefully it's the Most High. Who choose, you know, which side you're gonna go into. Whether you're gonna operate on the right hand side and be part of his elect and chosen, or whether you're gonna be the left on the left hand side. You know, there's 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 plenty of different scriptures, you know, that shows you the most high chooses, you know, what you're gonna become or what you're gonna do. It's not in your own will, you know, or in your own devices to choose which side you're gonna operate on. Uh, I got so y'all can pull y'all. You got you got some not you got some more on that? Yeah, I got a little more. 
uh, um, 30, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affliction, impractical, and unmerciful. Who, knowing the judgment of Yahweh that they wish they wish commit such things are worthy of death, and not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And God, these motherfuckers are uh, they graph two other motherfuckers that have pleasure in doing this wickedness. Uh, uh like uh, uh the good Samaritan, uh, uh, they fuck around with uh, 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 uh Shy is uh shy uh 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 and refine you know them was you know they were they tried to refine or whatever the fuck they supposed to be uh um you know all these motherfuckers with reprobate minds they seem like they 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 hook up to each other shut the fuck up hey uh whoever got something else to do uh uh go ahead God, well, this is, this is a scripture along the lines of being illuminated or walking in the light, which which yeah. the light is, is the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And as long as you're walking within that light <laughs> or, the, or, or, you know, what's written in, in this book, you'll be all right. You know? So this is a, a Baruch 4 and 2. It says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light <laughs> thereof. Uh, that thou mayest be illuminated. Are you there? You gotta, you gotta walk in His light. You gotta walk in the words of of the scriptures. You know the commandments that's written within these scriptures. <clears throat> uh, Karate, you got something? Uh, Khan, uh, going back to the uh, this uh, this is a precept for what the brother had brought out and uh. Uh, second Peter's chapter one and verse ten. Uh, this is Philippians chapter one, verse ten and eleven, and it reads that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of Yahweh Shai, being filled with the fruits of righteousness that are by Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, or to the glory and praise of the Most High Yahweh. You got it, right? So yeah, so kind of, we you know we want to be uh, up until the day that Yahweh Shai uh, cracks them clouds, according to Revelations chapter one and verse seven. We want to be without offense, man, and we want to be filled with the fruits of righteousness. You know, uh, going out onto the highways and hedges, you know, doing what is commanded of us. Yeah. Okay. Do I? Uh, you got a scripture? Yeah. Um. I got one. Uh. John. John verse uh, six, verses uh forty four. No man can come. Yeah, six forty four. Uh, John. Okay. Okay. No man can come to me. Escape the Father, which had sent me drawing him and I will raise him up at the last day. And, and so this is the last, the last day. day right there. Huh. So we're in the last day. And so you know our job for men that woke up in this truth is to stay in the light. And this red that was the light, man. Because you know we're praying to God about Shemel Shah every day because we want to get up out of here man that's right god yeah. ain't no man can come to the light except the father drawn you know so except yeah. you were chosen to be how about you know, shy now you got you got individuals that come into this thing and they think that they're in the light you know but as it, yeah. it, it show you in uh in uh the movie star wars like with uh who was that uh anakin skywalker you know, he what? thought that he was walking in the light. You know, he, he tried being the Jedi. But what happened was the dark side took over. You know, so eventually uh, a person, you know, that's walking in this thing, 
they will eventually get exposed. Like for an example, uh, if uh, if you read the book of uh, I, I want to say it's the same chapter, John the sixth chapter, it tells you about Judas Iscariot, and it tells you how how Shai knew who he had chosen. And he knew that one of them was a devil. No, so you got individuals that's 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 in this truth right now, but really they're devils. And and in the okay. time the time to come, they're going to be exposed for what they what they are, what they truly are. We we've seen examples of that, you know, especially us, you know, given the fact that we're the we're the Detroit camp of GMS, and we had we had uh, uh four individuals that fell out. And now what are they doing? They're scoffing against the truth. They're coming up against this thing. And wh what's going on? They're in darkness, man. They're, they're in darkness. They're in deep darkness, out of darkness. Uh, you know? And uh, uh, that's a scripture that says that. Oh, you got to Okay. Uh, this is uh, First Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself whether you be in, in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not? No, uh, know ye not your uh, yourselves? How how Yahusha Mashiach is in you, ex except ye be reprobates. But but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. So we're not of that that dark side, huh? Being a reprobate, being a being born of huh? Like because Anakin, uh, uh, Skywalker, or yeah, anyone a part of the dark side they're void of judgment because they couldn't discern from them wicked thoughts that they were having. They they were they were completely engulfed with the dark side. The dark side took them over. And, and when that and when that happened, it, a change happened. It, it it clicked in them that they were that they were evil, man. But that's why it's examine yourself right uh knowing that Yahusha is know ye not that yourselves how that Yahusha is in you. So you have to believe that you're of the light, that you're of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, and have that, have that, have that faith, and expect, except you be purple based. Because if you're a purple base, you're going to be on that dark side of the light to be destroyed. That's, that's right. Or seven, Dang, you got you to walk in that light, too. You know? You got you to gotta believe, you got to have faith, and you have to walk in that light, which means that you have to apply all of the teachings of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, and you have oh. to... Uh, you have to re reject the flesh, you know, because being prideful, that's part of being fleshly. That's part of being carnal. You know, when it comes to things like, like for example, I spoke on judgment. When it comes down to you being reproved or when it comes down to you being rebuked, because that's another thing that can show you in, um, in, the, in the Star Wars movies from, from the, the snippets that I've seen. Usually a person can't take rebuke. They can't take chastisement. One of the clips that we just seen on, on the television you, in regards to uh, the Star Wars movie, there was two brothers, and one came and brought a sacrifice that was unacceptable. It was it, it reminds you uh, of uh, Jacob. I'm, I'm sorry, it reminds you of Cain and Abel. So one brother brought a sacrifice that was unacceptable, and and when he saw that his sacrifice was rejected, he got upset, you know, and he went to slay his father, and his brother stopped him. And what he what he did was he ended up killing his brother. But that reminds you of Jacob. Uh, uh, that reminds you like that. That reminds you of Cain and Abel. So you know that's the reason why the scriptures say that you are of your father the devil, and the in the in the works of your father you do roughly paraphrasing that he was a murderer from the beginning. You know these guys that that can't take rebuke, they can't take a uh, chastisement or correction. They're of their father the devil, you know, right. which proves what? That proves that they're on the left hand side, yeah. you know, and that that, that that devil, trust me, it wasn't speaking about the spiritual demon Satan. It was actually speaking about uh, uh, Cain, man, you know, yeah. which the spirit of Cain now now resides in the so-called white man. But but you got a bunch of Israelites that are that are following their ways. See, according to the scriptures, we are identified being Israelites. We are identified with being the children of the light. We're supposed to walk according to the words of Yahweh Bashmiel Bashai. Why? Because we're his chosen. But you got Israelite men 
Who call themselves being in the truth, they're no longer walking this light, but they're walking in darkness. Their their eyes is full of darkness. Matter of fact, we'll get that scripture too. But Salakia. Uh, this is First Corinthians thirteen seven. Now I pray, pray you to Yahweh that ye do not know evil. Not not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest. Uh, though we though we be as though we be as as repro, reprobates, for we can do nothing against the truth before the, the truth. truth. Right. So our our work and our doing is supposed to be honest and sincere, and not not of the works of darkness, but of the works of of, of Yahushua, because we talks about in the scripture putting on the body of Yahushua. Putting them on as putting them on as yourself. You're supposed to walk in, in the light. You're supposed to walk in in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh and not in, in darkness and not in uh, wickedness or, or malice, but in, in honesty and sincerity and uprightness before the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess this is out of uh, Sirach. Uh, just real quick, it's chapter 15, starting at verse 11. Uh, say not thou, like, uh, say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hateth. Say not thou, he calls me to error, for he hath no need of the sinful man. The Lord hateth all abomination, and they that fear the most high power love it not. He himself made uh, man from the beginning and left him in the hands of his counsel. Right, so it's showing you that right, you can't use the most high as an excuse. Uh, to turn over the wickedness, all right, which you'll see a lot of uh, the fallouts do. All right, well, maybe uh, I, I, I know I made the right choice in leaving, you know, to give themselves that uh, false confirmation of what they're doing is correct. All right, you can't use uh, uh, your own uh, bullshit justification to go and dwell into wickedness. You have to resist Satan, you have to resist the things of the flesh. All right, the Satan right now on this side. World, Satan is powerful. He can give you everything that you want, uh, physical uh, counterpart and spiritual. If you turn over to the so-called white man, I want to do this. I want to do that. I'll do anything. I saw. I gave my body. I'll do whatever you tell me to. You can, you can be up in mansions partying, freaking off on all type of uh, women. You a, a fag, freaking off on animals. You can have all types of power in this world, but you, but in order to do that, you have to give over. To the wickedness. What did uh, Satan? He tried to tempt Yahusha. He said, "I'm." What he say? Uh, he said, I, "I give you all the kings of the, of the earth. Kings just bow down. Earth. Just bow down to me, basically." All right. He could. He he has he has rulership right now. He can give you anything, but we can't. Uh, we can't give in. Uh, this is uh, Matthew four and uh, uh, eight. Again, the devil, which is this is Satan. The devil takes him up into a seating high mountain and shows him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory glory of them, and said unto him, All these things will I give give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahushua unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is for it is for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord Yahweh. That power and him only shall thou serve. John, so he not only did he uh, defeat him, but he used the scriptures to do so. All right, because only only the so like, uh, uh, only the weak are gonna give in. He know he he knew it was just a test anyway. Where once you get into these scriptures, you know you realize that whenever these wicked thoughts are coming to you, it's safe. So you can't uh, give in. You know that okay, this is a battle, this is a part of the battle. I have to get uh the spiritual armor on. Uh, let me go a quick precept. Wow. This is uh, James 4, 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And that's the problem with a lot of these guys that turn over to the dark side. They don't resist the devil. But they entertain the thoughts that are in their mind as if it's their own thoughts. See, the the the, the craftiness of Satan is when, when you, when, when he knows your voice. You know, we all have that inner voice 
where you can speak to yourself and, and, and it sounds just like you. Well, Satan or these demons know how to imitate that voice. So what they do is they try to make it seem as if it's your own self that's thinking that thought, man. And you accept it as if it's as if it's you know a, a wise counsel. But but that's the reason why you're always supposed to get a, a second or third opinion about something before you do it. You know, like for an example, if, if, you, if, if, if your inner th thoughts is telling you, okay, well, something in the scriptures is broken down a certain way, it, it, it's been broken down a certain way, but it should be broken down this way, you should go in and, get, and get counsel on that first yeah, before right. you decide to try to change yeah. it up. Yeah. You know, because because it's easy for a devil to, to creep in and to, and to um, uh, basically uh, cause you to think something. That's right. Now, now, if you're thoroughly if you're thoroughly reading the scriptures and watching videos, then you would know that that man, you know, that thought was some bullshit and you rebuke it. Well, I don't know how to rebuke their thoughts. I got a preset. Yeah, I do they too. don't know how to re rebuke Satan, you know, because hey, one of the things, you, hey, you got to know how Satan attacks you, man. That, that means that you have to find out what your weaknesses are and you have to know what your weaknesses are, you know, so that so that when, when temptation comes, you will know that it's Satan. And you will know to rebuke it. Process. Process, you got it. Oh, Kai, this uh, this is Ephesians chapter six, uh, and starting at verse ten, and it reads: Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord Yahweh, and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand. So like it, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Kind so of we, the deceitful, cunning tactics of the of, devil. That's right. You, can you read also uh, uh, Ephesians 4 and 27? Kind, I got you right now, brother. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 27. And it reads, neither give place to the devil. And that's the that's the problem, you know, brothers. Some guys are giving place to the devil. Here it is: when you came to your house, I was shy. You were you were you you were you were that old man. But but when you when you received the word of your house, I was shy. That demon that was in your mind got kicked out. It got kicked out. It got it got a uh, uh, what's that word? Um, uh, evicted. You know, mm -hmm. and your, and your house, your house was clean. Your house being your mind, it was clean. But now you want to go back into being that old man. So what are you doing? You giving place to the devil, man. So what's gonna happen? Right. He's gonna come back with with a, with a, a, a host of other demons, and they're gonna throw a house party in your mind, man. That's right. Oh, I, I got a preset for that too, bro. Keep on and you really, you really gonna be in the dark side then. Video. You're gonna be sucking into that darkened place. That sucking place. That's right. That's right. Uh, Mia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Con. To what the brother Sha to what the brother Shakam just said. This is a quick precept. Then you brothers you can have it. Up, I said this is a quick precept for you brothers. To what the brother Shakam just said. And then you brothers can take it. Uh, this Galatians chapter 4 and verse 9. But now, after that, ye have known the most high Yahweh, or rather are known of the most high Yahweh, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage. God, and you got some guys who came out of the Christian faith to come back into the to come back into the knowledge that they were Israelites. And now, you know, what are they doing? They're scoffing against, you know, other Israelites that are doing the work you have by Shimia Shai and making the same arguments as the Christians. 
They're making the same arguments as the Christians, man. Damn. Damn. I got a precept. It's saying that America uh, isn't isn't Babylon. You know, America is isn't Babylon. Uh, uh, the Vatican is Babylon. Basically, saying the same thing the Christians are saying about how America won't be destroyed, man. That's what. Now, what, ask yourself: Why would an individual say that? Come on, now, be be re realistic. The reason that they'll make. Uh, arguments like that is because there's something that they're trying to protect in this place. Yeah. You no. Know? Yeah. They, they want this the, place to the, continue. That's the, real, that's the realism of it. That's the reality of it. They, maybe they're not confident, you know, because they got kicked out and they want to try to find a way to escape and to get around. Okay, well, if you how is ain't dealing with us, well, well, maybe, maybe we got a chance if America won't be destroyed. These guys are fearful, you know, and they don't really believe that the spirit of Yahweh yeah. is dealing with them. Even though they try to play like, like it is, but we all know the up and up. We all know the truth because we can see it. A tree sh it shall be known by its fruits. Fruit come. Why would the Lord wait all the way into the end when this thing is almost over to, to uh, reveal the, the truth unto us? Uh, a, a, a handful of individuals. It would take forever for this this message to, you know, if we had to remix everything. That's right. And then when when they're bringing out uh, scriptures or breakdowns, it's not nothing concerning <laughs> prophecy. Everything that they bring <laughs> out is something con concerning uh, something that doesn't have any. It don't matter. Like for an example, is roof a roof of Moabitus? Who gives a fuck, man? The world is on the brink of, of World War III. They're implementing the, uh, the RFID chip, which we believe is the mark of the beast. But uh, wait a little while. Those things are going to change up in their doctrines as well. So these are individuals right. that are wholly given over to the dark side. That's right. They have a host of demons that are inside of their mind as throwing a house party. Uh, so I got some on this. Uh, so, uh, Rock 15, verse 15. Uh, if thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform the acceptable faithfulness, uh, he hath set forth, like he hath set fire and water before thee, stretch forth thy hand uh, unto whither thou wilt, before man is life and death, and whether him liketh uh, shall be given him. All right, so whichever, one, whichever side you want to go to, all right, it's, it's, it's in front of you. All right, like Joshua said, what was say? Okay, uh, like Joshua said, I, he says, uh, I forget the exact chapter, but he said that life, God, life and death is set before you. Choose what you will. All right, and if you want to, you have to choose that which is pleasing to you. How about Shem Shai? We have these scriptures, so we know what abominations are. We know what uh, they deem as wicked. Therefore, we have to stray on the... We have to stray away from the wicked path and stay on the uh, light. That's right. That's whoever uh, got what they call it. I, I know. You can get your precept. Okay, kind of. Um, um, Hebrews uh, 13 and 7. Remember them that have ruled over you who have spoken unto you the word of Yahweh. And these is uh, most of these motherfuckers learn their doctrine through the elders, apostles, and Jim Hess. All of them. And they ain't even holding on to this doctrine. They, 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 they are all of them. Huh? All of them. All of them learn to do the apostles. Even how you I see. Faith follow consider the ends of their conversation. Uh um, you have to have the same yesterday, today, and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrine, for it is a good thing that our hearts be established with grace, and not with me that that which have not profit them that have been occupied therein. And kind, uh, uh, I'll go down to the uh, right here. Go down uh, to uh, verse fifteen. Oh. The point. Ah. 
Go to 17. Uh, him, therefore, let us offer a sacrifice and praise unto Yahweh continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do good and to communicate, forget not with such sacrifices, Yahweh is well pleased. Obey them which have ruled over you and submit yourself, for they watch over your souls. If for as they must give account that they may have to do with 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 joy. What, what's the what's and the, who, um what's the uh the, the the guy that was over Anakin Skywalker? Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, Obi Wan Obi Kenobi. You know, the the apostles of of Great Millstone are the Obi Wan Kenobis or or the, or <laughs> yeah. the um. Are the uh, yeah, they're the, they're the Jedi Council, but you got guys God. that they got that great hubris in them because a hey, a guy's actions will, will show which will, will show what his true desires are, man. The way God. that a person behaves, these these guys are really, really the reason why they're upset. It shows you that they came into this thing for the wrong reasons, they came into this right. thing. To be accepted in the eyes of men, they didn't come in the, in this thing because they were sincere, because they truly cared about you. How about Shmuel Shai? They wanted this word to get out. God. you know, they they wanted to be appreciated of men, and and when they didn't get it, because because hey, trust me, man, you're dealing with guys who have their senses exercised. These are men that have discernment, so they know. Like for an example, if you if you're in the um. When, when you go to certain certain events or if you're invited to a certain feast and in the feast you're trying to be the one that stand out all the time and you're trying to be in the spotlight like for an example i'll use the example of uh of uh, uh egghead all right the the, the leader of uh, the the good samaritans when we went to the passover he was trying to to appease the uh the uh, apostle to heart with gifts I don't even know how many kind of books he gave him. And then he was he gave a, a, a unprofitable sacrifice. Here it is, you gave him a book full of the things that he broke down and taught you, and, and you gave it back to him saying, these are all of the things that you taught me. The, he will be rather more pleased if you just went out and, and continue teaching it. And then also another, we were invited to, to, uh, to the apostle's house. And you were upset because the apostle, you asked him if he read the book, and he told you, like, no, I ain't read it yet. I don't really know what the book is because I got so many books around here. You got upset, but everything happens through the spirit because you were seeking recognition of men. And when you did not get it, you were upset. <laughs> but but this is it, this, this right here, man, it's not about trying to seek recognition of men. The reason that you're in this truth, you should be in this truth because you you sincerely believe in in, in, in the gospel and in the truth for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right. But uh, you should you should do this because you're sincere. And then also the scriptures, you know, you're you're supposed to just be humble, man. You ain't supposed to be looking to try to stick out. Just be humble, because all of those guys that try to stick out. They're usually the guys that get swept aside, man. And the Lord right, wants man. to meet, man. The, the Lord doesn't want men that are prideful. You you trying to make a you trying to make a name for yourself. Fuck trying to make a name for yourself. That shows that right there is a is is a sign of rebelliousness. Wasn't Anakin Skywalker trying to make a name for himself? Obi Obi Wan Kenobi is keeping me back. I can't I can't be myself because of him. <laughs> no. Uh, uh I got I got a precept. But this is this is the uh follow uh the, the Akmalak. He brought out that the one uh speaking about you know a, a life and death truth, so whether you will, and he also mentioned that the scriptures, you know, everything is outlined in the scriptures, what you're supposed to do, man. It's, it's already been showed you. It's already been told to you. And that's all you got to do. Nothing more, nothing less. You just keep it simple. You know, read the scriptures and do what the scriptures say. This is uh, uh, Sirach 21 and 10. It says the way of sinners 
is made plain with stones, but, but at the end thereof is a pit of hell. You know, so these scriptures already let you know what's the way of sinners, you know, and not to walk in the way of sinners. But you got guys who don't want to heed, heed the, the, the signs. For an example, you got a, you got a sign that says, uh, if, if you're walking through a forest and there's a sign that says uh, a dead end, there's a, there's a cliff, and if you keep walking, you're going to fall off the cliff, or you're going to fall, or you're going to keep walking? You're gonna fall into a goddamn pit. But these you got these blind niggas. Why they're blind? Because their eyes are full of darkness. Who keep on walking straight ahead, and what do they do? They they fall in that same pit. Now they're in that pit with all of the rest of the scoffers, man. You know, the, a, these scriptures it makes that way plain. It's like they make the way of righteousness plain. Just read them and take heed. You, uh, you got something? Yeah, I got one. I got uh, John uh, chapter uh, 6, verses uh, 56 and uh, 7. Right quick. He that eateth my flesh and drink my blood dwell in me, and I in him. Uh, 57 as the living father has sent me and I live by the father shall he that eateth me ever he shall live by me so we're supposed to live through you know Yahweh by to, from Yahweh and his son and his son Yahweh's child we're supposed to follow his path but like, and you know, you got these niggas that want to stand out and 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 want to want to be the man of the uh showing shit when we're supposed to reach and sign the crime to your how about Shimmy Shah, But these niggas want to be selfish, man. And I can't believe how how these other niggas are. And I see why you how about Shimmy Shah kick these other niggas out, man, because they full of shit. Now go ahead. Uh, this is a uh, Sirach 7 and 30, 30, 35. Oh, Sirach 7 and 5. Justified. So, let me find it. Because there's a scripture. Okay. Four, four. Sirach 7 and 4. Seek not out uh, of, the, of the Lord preeminent of the, of the king. The, the seat of honor and uh, the one that is the fact of surpassing all others and that and that's a dark side that's a dark side mentality because that's in that when you Star Wars 3 that's what Anakin Skywalker wanted he wanted to surpass surpass everyone else and that's what you scroll you want you want to surpass your 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 teachers you want to be above what you can't what you can't be you you know it it says neither uh, neither the, the king neither of the the king the seat of honor that that king seat you trying to be on top when you help us and you didn't set you there he doesn't want you in the in the king seat he doesn't want you in that position the Lord has set everything up to how he wants man right? um, and if you're not set up in that king seat. So 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 be it. everyone's not set up to be a, a, a king. You got you got different offices, but you you can't you can't handle that. So you want to be in a a shit like what what do you want to be a Jedi master? Mm -hmm. And they and they told him no, you can't you can't you can't be it. You, you can be look at city. Listen, but yep. we're not a Yep, you can be a part of council, you but you're not gonna be accounted as as a master. You seek. Uh, I'll get I'll get one more real quick. This is Sarah. Three and uh twenty one. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search out, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded, commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. So the things that you want to point it forth, you you 
unless you build up to that measure, the Lord's not going to give it to you, man. He's not going to give you something that he doesn't want you to be, be at. Seeking, like being a part of the, like using that movie, for example, trying to be a part of uh, being a Jedi matter, master, you, you're not on that level to be a Jedi master. Okay. And the same thing with the apostle and the elders. You're not set up on that level to be an apostle or elder. If the Lord wanted you to be an apostle or elder, you would have you would have been born during during the time when the apostles and elders have been set up, or you would have knew about the truth as soon as you were born. But you're, you or you, know, you won't like, continue in the truth. You know you won't you won't leave the truth or change it. You won't change the doctrine. You won't change the gospel. You won't be teaching anything else. Hey, because for an example, he said that that uh, that he was a, a, an apostle that was born out of season. So you have certain individuals who can come in later, and they and they may know they may know something, or the most time may be dealing with them on the level. But what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to respect their order because even Paul respected the order. Didn't Paul go to uh, the, the uh, to seek counsel of Peter at, and, and, and the rest of the uh, the apostles in Jerusalem? You know, so so you 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 are still abiding the truth. You still teach what, what was right. For example, you got you got uh, situations where individual you know brothers got kicked out of this thing, or or they either left, but they continue in the faith. You know, but you guys totally you, you went way left. You didn't continue in the faith. But Baba Kashar, can I grab this precept real quick? This is uh, Ephesians four and eleven. It says that he gave. Now listen. It says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. Who is that he? That he is Yahweh, man. He set up certain individuals. Now, now, if the, if the shoe doesn't fit, don't try to put it on, man. No, just be humble and fall into your lot. Fall into your position. Just be thankful that you that the Most High allowed you to know about this truth. You know, and just do your part. All you got to do is make three videos, you know, and push the word, go out and teach on, on, on Saturday or Friday or Sunday, whatever day you go out and teach on, and that's it. You know, but but this shows you that guys come to this thing and they, they really don't have faith and they're here for the wrong reason. They're just here to be to be the guy that stand out, the guy that's that's super smart or super intelligent. And, and, and has to be the guy that everybody looked to and, 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 and are wooed by. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at how he broke that down. That's the guys that these guys wanted to be. But when they didn't get that kind of recognition and they saw that that, that it failed, then, then that's when they left. Yeah. Uh, did they call this? They wasn't looking at me. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab this first, and I'll pull the thing on the screen. Or do you guys? I got, I got something. What do you got? Luke, uh, fourteen. You can get your stuff. Okay, this is Matthew fifteen. In uh, eighteen. But these things which which uh, proceed out of the mouth, come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. Murders, adultery, fornication, thefts, falseness, blasphemy. These, uh, these are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defile not a, a man. So the, the things that Yahweh yeah, yeah, just listed off, that's what. Uh, defiles you, man. The things that wicked, well, wicked thought is a sin, man. Huh? That all that sh uh, wickedness that's set up in, in in your head, that's what defiles the man because everything starts with your mind. When you think about something, it weighs there, and then it becomes it be, it comes to reality. That that's that's where wickedness starts from from your thought process, from your from your mind. And you have to rebuke that shit, man. Huh? You have to rebuke that's right. All, all this wickedness because this flesh is naturally wicked man this this flesh is, is naturally evil 
be weakness, but you have to fight against it. And there's a scene on uh, on uh, the Star Wars cartoon. Uh, it's uh, Yoda. Yoda's fighting against his evil self, and he and he says, uh, "What he say? He says, uh, he's fighting against him, and he said, and his evil self says, i 'I'm a part of you, and that 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 uh, the dark side is in all of you.'" He says, "A part part of me you are, but reject you I do." So this this flesh is genuinely wicked and wants to go after wickedness, but we have to reject it, man. We have to fight against it. We have to strive against this flesh. That's why the, that's why the apostles always stress fighting against yourself. And the Apostle Gabbard uh, did uh, did a video. I think it's like demon, some some that drew your own word demon, something like that. Because the, the man you look at in the mirror every day goes for myself and for all, all of us. That's your worst enemy, man. Okay. That that's the worst okay. enemy in in, in, the, in the truth. Your 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 own self, and that was a uh, Anakin Skywalker's worst enemy, and the Fallout's worst enemy is yourself. Okay. Because you 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 couldn't handle the demons, and you couldn't fight against the the wicked council, and you gave in to it, man. Hey, and and AK, you and uh Rochelle over there, the Rochelle is a is a Sith Lord. And uh, Kyla, you're you're Anakin Skywalker, man. And then the black guy over there, you're 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 you're, you're the whole thing. You're Darth Vader. You're uh, what's the what's the little robot that's helping them on their side? Uh, no, 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 that's helping. Uh, Bro, they didn't have a Darth Vader. <laughs> they didn't have a. They, they don't have a. That was the that was a whole, yeah. They didn't have a name. They just blew oh. my shit. All oh, the retards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a robot. <laughs> that's dead. That's dead. Both of them niggas, man. They're just robots. Hey, uh, hey this is a precept for you, uh, you know, to follow you, Arya. This is uh, Revelations 3 and 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast to that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And you know, that man that you have to work, uh, you know, that you have to stop from, you know, taking your crown or causing you to lose your crown is yourself, man. So as a, as a brother was Satan, you gotta fight yourself, man. You know, you gotta fight yourself. And these brothers did a beautiful lesson before, using another uh, anime or, or cartoon as a, as an example. And there was a, a guy named Samurai Jack. You know, who had to fight against his evil self. You know, so the same thing applies in this scenario. And these these uh these videos may seem as if they're repetitious, but that's the way that we are we are to teach because these things have to constantly be made. Uh, be made known, be brought to the surface. You know, it has to keep because that's how Jake is. You tell Jake how many times, uh, how many books of the law do we have? What is what is the word Deuteronomy mean? It's the second book of the law. Why do you have to, why do you have the second book of the law? You know, you gotta re you gotta repeat things to Jake because Jake is hard headed. So you gotta constantly be told that you gotta fight yourself, man. Because there ain't nothing good that dwell in his flesh, and his flesh is 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 is, is, is the, the Satan when he tries to attack you, he tries to attack you by way of using things that your flesh will give inclination to, things that appease your flesh, your desires. You know, Satan knows your desires to be the guy that's uh that that has the preeminence. You want to be the guy on top. You want to be the Josephs. <laughs> you want to be the um. <laughs> you want to be the uh the, the Pauls, you want to be the peters but 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 that glory and that honor and that position is given to whom is given to and if you can't get that position then then that's when that pride springs up or uh, this whole thing th this whole order has to be corrupt <laughs> everything is wrong the, the doctors is wrong. The teachings is wrong. Perfect. The apostles of Great Millstone is going off just because you couldn't get that position that you wanted. So, so this, 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 this fits you pretty well. Okay. You are the Anakin's, the Anakin Skywalkers. Uh, I, uh, I know you can get yours. But, but the, the, the point being, fight yourself, man. Two for now, fight yourself. Don't give in to those those pleasures and the desires of the dark side. You know, stay in the light. 
if I say something real quick, the dark side is uh, uh on Star Wars, the dark side is built off of being carnal. It's being uh, based off it's a holy based off your uh, flesh and the and the and the force is based off the they say in the show uh, the force within or the it's basically in, in reality what you can use from the scriptures is spirit. And the dark side is all, all about being carnal, following uh, after your wicked thoughts. The main, their main power is a uh, uh, anger or or your own emotions. Now, now you got it. Okay, Kyle, uh, Ezra seven and twenty one, for Yahweh Shem Yashah had given a strict commandments to the foot as K, what should be, what should do to live, even as a K. What they should do to observe the word punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things, and deceived themselves by the wicked deeds, and said of the Lord God that he is not, and he knew not his ways. But he, he, he know the most high ways. You know, they know that they ain't supposed to be doing this shit. They supposed to be teaching. <laughs> They they don't know why they're supposed to be building up brothers. Cause because their their uh their their mind has been totally their hard drive has been totally wiped clean. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they got a virus. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Right along with them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the oxide the oxide of your computer gets a virus if your computer gets hacked. You know, you throw the whole computer away. You throw the whole hard drive away. It's not good for anything anymore. It's especially when it gets virus. So, well, at one virus you can get rid of easy, but when you get like five different six viruses, you, your computer basically fucked. That's how it is in your in your mind. Because the demons, that the uh, scripture, I know you brought that yesterday about the demons. Seven more demons come come in, man. Because mm -hmm. one virus you can get rid of, or you got. Seven different viruses on your computer. Is it just like, like fuck? I can't do shit. All that, you you gonna take it to a computer place and they're like, look, you might as well scrap this. It'll be cheaper for you to get rid of this because trying to fix it is gonna be a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, Karasa, do I got something? Yeah, I got something. Yeah, I got something. Oh, go ahead, Dwight. Okay, come. Yeah, um, John chapter uh six and twenty nine. Uh, Yahushai Mashiach assorted and said unto, yeah, unto them, This is the work of p power that ye believe in him whom he has sent. Because this word comes from Yahweh and and come and also sent to the son uh Yahweh Shai, you know, our King of Kings. And that they're, they're not disappointing us, but they're disappointing uh Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. And that's why, you know, uh only the most I know what he's gonna do to these clowns, man, because right now, you know, these these guys are, you know, are rotten fruit. It's who they are, you know. But uh, I just want to say that in Karala's eyes, if you want to go ahead, go ahead. Okay, Khan, yeah, this, I got, uh, this is the wisdom of Solomon chapter 9, verse 14 and 15, and it reads, For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, and our devices are but uncertain. For the corruptible body presses down the soul, and the earthly tabernacle, Wave down the mind that muses upon many things. So, kind that word muses means our mind is wondering. Well, a person's mind will be wondering upon many things, man. You know, kind. when you when you get into the word muse, that's where where you get words like music or amusement. You no, know, those words spring from the word muse. Uh, I believe uh, reading it uh, before, but. When they were breaking down the word "amuse" in the etymology, it says to wander about like a dog that that has lost his scent. So you, know, you so wonder for a long time. 
you just trying to find it. You're trying to find it. Yeah, you lost. To to walk around with your nose up in the air. You know, you don't you don't have a clue what the fuck is going on, man. And that's how that's how it is. A lot of these guys. Yeah, a lot of these guys, they don't have a clue of what the hell is going on. Matter of fact, all of these guys, except it have been for the apostles of Great Millstone that have been set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Shai, they wouldn't know what the fuck was going on. They wouldn't even know that they were in the Is right. uh, Israelite. But now That's they're right. coming up against these men. You know? They're coming up against these men that were set up by Yahweh Hashem Shai. Hey, well, the, uh, the brother read the scripture in uh in Hebrews 13 and 7. Now, uh, when you get into the word rule, because it says obey them which have the rule over thee, when you get into that word rule, I believe that word is 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 a uh, hagamy or something like that, which which goes into the uh, the word like a uh, hagamony, which means leadership. There's a there's a there's a, a certain individuals that were set up by Yahweh Shai to be the leadership of the of the of his house. There were certain guys that were set up by Yahweh Shai to be the leadership of his house. When you go to uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 13, uh, 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 Moses did the same thing. Masha did the same thing. He would, Masha was set up to, to, to be over the, uh, the house of Israel at that time. But what he did was he set up certain chief men and judges to, to, to be rulers over the house. Now, Yahweh, uh, um, King, uh, Masha, Moses said that one will come in Deuteronomy 18 chapter that is that that is like unto him. Hear ye him. So, how much more respective is 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 the is the uh, the, the the governing body that Yahweh Shai set up? Y Yahweh Shai uh, set up a governing body to rule over his people. To be the leader or or the or the rulers over his people, you know, uh, Luke is that Luke the twelfth chapter that speaks on that. You know that he set up certain householders. You know, it also says, um, if I if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's in the same chapter, but but basically you're supposed to obey them that have the rule over your body, man. And 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 the fact that these guys. Don't want to want to follow the apostles of Great Millstone that was set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai just shows complete rebelliousness. Yeah. Yeah. If you can find any excuse to talk shit against them, you know, but 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 they never did anything wrong towards us, and they and they helped us to understand the word of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have the understanding that you do of the scriptures. So, so the fact that that you have a gripe towards them, you, you left you left the truth, and now you're changing the doctrine, which goes to show you what, what your whole reason for changing the, the doctrine is only because you have you have you're upset at them. I guess so. Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter uh, 14, starting at verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower sits not down first and count up the cost, whether he hath sufficient to finish it, at least happily after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, this man begin to build and was not able to finish. All right, and that's what's going to happen to all those that uh, abandon the way, all right? If you abandon the order, you uh, uh, leave the sincere brotherhood, all right? We will mock you, we will insult you, all right? We're not gonna uh, let you come up and attack us and our leaders and just stand by and just uh, just watch and witness, all right? And that's what, uh, and that, that's that's the repercussions of going uh, to the dark side, to the wickedness, giving in to Satan. You're gonna lose the allies that you had. You're gonna lose brothers. So we're not your uh, brothers, you can't call us don't 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 salute us. Don't pray for us. We're not your Akim. We're not your brothers. You lost the kinship. That's what happens when you leave. You cut the ties. You are you are unable to uh, battle Satan. You are unable to uh, separate yourself uh, from your uh, carnal desires, and you gave in. 
All right, therefore, you back in the world. You're not our brothers. And I'm not just talking about them fallouts. I'm talking about uh, for any fall. That's what happens. That's why when you, because people like to say, oh, Greg Millstone, oh, y'all are rough. Y'all always cursing, y'all always rebuking people. That's what we so have what? to do. You have to do that to the enemy. You can't <laughs> let the enemy come and trample yeah. all over you. You can't let, you can't, okay, that's my enemy. He's my Israelite brother. But you, you're not going to stand there and let him toss rocks at your fucking castle. It's going to come up in there and murk the leader and dip out, oh, that's my brother. I can't do it. It don't work like that. All right, you can't, when when you uh, leave, when you join to darkness, you are no longer an ally of the light. You become an enemy at first. All right, and the, on, the light always wins in the end. All right, no matter what, darkness might always be around, but through spirit power, you howl by shin, you shy. The, the righteous elect, the one third, those that always do right are going to win in the end. Right, whoever got something, boy. Kyle, I got something. Uh, did you like him have something? Kyle. You can go ahead and read it out. What? Yeah. You can go ahead. Okay, Kyle. Um, chapter, um, Book of John, chapter 6, verses, uh, 65 and 66. And he said, therefore, say I unto you that no man come, I mean, can't come unto oh. me. Hold on, Bob. What's, what, what you read? Not Luke 14? No, John 6. John 6. No, he already read it. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you reading John 6? Yeah, John 6, uh, 65 and 66. God, okay. You, okay. Go ahead and get it again, Doc. Okay, I'll start over on um, chapter uh, 6 and 65. And he said, therefore, said I unto you, that no man can't come unto me, escape Except. it. What'd you say? Except. Okay. Except it. We, yeah, we were given unto him of uh, my father in '66. From that time, many. Of his uh, the these place disciples disciples went back and walk walketh no more with him. Read the read the next so you, verse. Oh, we won't. Oh, okay, read the next one. Okay, um, sixty-seven. Uh, that shall Yahweh shy unto the twelve. Who had also going away? Will you, will you also go away? Go oh. ahead. Keep reading. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, Samuel uh, Peter also aware. Answered him. What? Answered him. Okay, answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go that Harris the word of inter eternal life, eternal life, eternal life. God, because the only way, the only place to go after you. Left this is to go back into the world, which is to do oh. what? It's to go back into darkness. Man. That's right. That's and right. we've been taken out of that darkness. Why in the hell would you want to go back to that? Going back to smoking weed, smoking kush. <laughs> Vanilla kush. <laughs> I was looking at and uh because uh, you know your family throw you in a group chat or whatnot, and and, and you know you got niggas in your family, you can't control that. But nigga talking about he wants a vanilla kush. What the fuck is vanilla <laughs> kush, man? Didn't he? Come on, man. Why would you want to go back to that? All right? You should enjoy this light that we're in, man. That's you right. Enjoy, 
You shouldn't want to be a nigga that's in darkness, committing adultery, smoking vanilla Kush, <laughs> going around uh, 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 just being lost. Because that's what's wrong with these people. They're lost because they don't have the light. And what, what are they going to inherit? What's going to happen to these people? They're going to be destroyed. So it's only it's only one way to go. If you if you leave this truth, if you turn back from following your house, watching me, I was shy. I got to Go ahead and keep reading that. The what? Okay, Kyle. Uh, you want me to go to 70? Yeah, keep reading. Okay. Yeah, I was shy. I wanted them. Them have not I chosen you twelve and one of you is a devil. So yeah, I wish I said it. Haven't I chosen you twelve and one of you is a devil? You know? Oh. Aiden, Aiden, mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is like a net. When it was cast into the sea, it drew both up good and bad. So there's gonna be guys that are bad that are drawn into this truth as well. But the thing no. is, they're going to be sifted out. They're going to be rooted out of this thing. Because it's going to be found out that they're in this truth for the wrong reasons. They're in this truth because they think that it's a social club. And they want to rise to the top like the song. We keep rising to the top. The top. They, mm -hmm. they, they, <laughs> that's my shit. They want, to, they want to be the guys that's on top, man. Yeah. You know? But that, but 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 you can't do that because if you did that, you'll be forcing things. Which is gonna do yep. what? You gonna end up getting spewed out, man. Hey, what what does the scripture say? That they're raging seas, foaming out their own shame. These guys expose themselves through their actions. That was that was the point. I. Okay. Uh, precept. This this is uh, uh, Romans eight and one. It says, uh, "There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of the life is in Mashiach have made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law? Well, let me just jump to five. That's the point. It says for day." That are that are after the flesh do mind the things that are of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things that are of the spirit. So the people that are of the of the flesh, they mind the things that are dark. <laughs> they love, they mind darkness. But the individuals, the brothers that are of the spirit, they want the things pertaining to the light. Okay. Uh, I, I just got this real quick. Surah 33, verse 12. Some of them, uh, uh, verse 12, some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified. This is most high talking about uh, the people here in this world. Uh, and some of them he sanctified and said it himself, but some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places as the potter's, as, as the clays in the potter's hand to fashion it as he pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as as liketh him best. Verse 14, good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. I look upon all the works of the most high and there are two and two, one against another. All right. So some people are set high and some people are set low. Good versus evil. All right. Everything is determined uh, by the most high. All right. You just have to pray that you're one of those that are, are set on the good side. All right, not to try to overstep your bounds. If you're not set up to be the top man, then don't try to uh, don't try to be it. All mm -hmm. right, you stay in your lane and do what you got to do. Because the moment you try to step out of bounds, that could be it. Okay. Uh, Chris, now you got some, or, or not? Do you have some? No, I I, I have some, but the spirit moved. So okay, so keep it going. Okay, Carl says, uh, uh Kai. Yeah, um, uh, this is, uh, St. Luke chapter, uh, 9 and verse 62, and it reads, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fear for the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, bring it up. So, Kyle, yeah, we got to keep uh, pushing forward in this thing, man. We can't, we can't come yeah. into this thing like the Akim said earlier, like it's a fad or it's a hangout club. And then when you see it ain't all good, then you want to dip out. You know what I'm saying? Because, shoot, it's a lot of things that's going to happen coming into this thing. Brother's going to put you in check. Brother's going to correct you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get rebuked. You know, and a weaker a weaker man, once he get his first rebuke, he might dip out. You might not see him again. So, you know, uh, like it says, no man putting his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Yeah. Uh, you got it right now. Okay, Todd. Uh, Luke, uh, uh, I'm just going straight to the point. Uh, uh, Luke 12 and 46. For the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he look a God for him. AI, can you start yeah. at 42? 42? Kind, of, I'll stop. I was going to start up there, but I'm going straight to the point. But I kind. Of, uh, uh, Luke, Luke 12 and 42, the Lord said, who then is that is faithful and wise servant whom the Lord shall make ruler over his household and give them the portion of the meat in due season? So the Lord, the Lord the, has men that he has set up to be rulers of his household. He, he got men yeah. that he set up to be stewards. Men that are set up, that, that are... Um, that, that he have given a certain dispensation of the gospel or have given to like it. Let me, let me take that word certain out of there, that he has get, given dispensation of the gospel, meaning that he have re revealed revelations and prophecies unto. Okay. Yahweh Shai has individuals set up, and those individuals are who? They're the, they're the apostles of Great Millstone. Now you have other individuals that were set up to do the same thing, but what did they do? They they went into other gospels. They're teaching different different doctrines. You got guys that that are that that were supposed to be heads and leaders over this thing, teaching correctly, but they're 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 teaching that the white man can be saved. They're teaching that that uh, the northern kingdom are only dark skinned jakes. So there's a, there's a difference. The ones that that the Lord, when He comes back, He's gonna He's gonna find them teaching the right, correct doctrine, and and and, and ruling over the household righteously. He's gonna reward them, but then He's gonna come back and He's gonna find other individuals who are who are teaching uh, wicked things. They're not feeding the flock. They're not doing the work, and if they're doing the work, they're 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 feeding them with things that are corruptible. And what he's going to do, he's going he's gonna to put his foot in their ass. That's right. That's right. Keep reading. God. 43, uh, blessed is that servant whom it, his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. In truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But if that servant say in his heart, my Lord, the land of his coming, and shall begin to be his men servant and maid servant to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, at an hour when he is not aware, and he will cut him into sunder with and appointed him his portion with the unbelievers and that servant which he too his own will prepare not himself neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes and this is the part i want to get into because y'all know the will of the most high the showed you the way but y'all going against the doctrine so the most high gonna beat your ass with many stripes. Huh. He's gonna throw huh. them up in ass. There's but no he should to see that any, any better. Huh. But he that knew not 
did not commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes, but unto him whomsoever given him given of him shall be required. And to yeah, men, so, much, much, if you want to be uh, that top guy and you're trying to force yourself in, the, in, in that position, and to, to whomsoever much is given, much is required. So you, you, you right, exert huh? yourself because you put yourself in that, in that top position, you know, trying to make yourself the, 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 the elders and apostles. And not want to be under the, the, the rulership and the guidance of the true elders and apostles, but you made yourself elders and apostles. You know now you put yourself in a position where there's a lot expected of you, and you're not you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not teaching the the the, the, black, the right things. You're not leading them in the right path. So what's going to happen to you? You gonna you gonna be destroyed, man. Get how shall he comes back? Like the act says, he's gonna beat your ass. Can uh, anybody else have anything? I did. Oh, uh, you can get yours out. Oh no, I said I didn't. I, I don't have nothing. I got uh, God, eleven and thirty-four. It said the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when the eye is single, the whole body is full of light. But when the eye is evil, the body is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If the whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give the light. Your eye is focused on this truth and on the right things. Because if your eye is focused on the right things, you know, then your then your body is going to be full of darkness. You know, so you 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 should be focused on on this truth. You should be focused on feeling your how about you know, shy with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, and loving your brother the same. You should be focused on being in order. You should be focused on on uh, teaching the right doctrine. You know, because if if your eye ain't, ain't single, if your eye ain't ain't focused on on, on what's right. Then your body's gonna be full of darkness, and you're gonna do what? You're gonna end up giving in to the dark side. God, uh, Dwight, you said you had one. Uh, I was just checking. Um, did anybody uh check out uh what's that uh book of Matthew chapter six and uh twenty three? No, I'll pull it out. Okay, book of Matthew uh chapter six. Uh, verses uh twenty three, but if I I, just, I just read that, but in the book of Luke. Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah, that's what he just had. Uh, okay, okay, Kyle. Well, other than that, well, that's it for me. You had that. You got yours out. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Titus. That's fine. This is Titus uh, two and uh, six. No, sorry, sorry. Well, I'll start with six. You, uh, young men be likewise exhort to be sober mind, minded in all things showing that so uh, a pattern of good works in doctrine and showing in, in doctrine showing this gravity, satirity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may. May be ashamed, having no evil things to say of you. Exhort servants to to be obedient unto their masters, and to please them well, not answering, not asking any, not answering again, not uh, prolonging, but showing a good prolonging, uh, prolonging, but showing a good uh, what's that word? Uh, Fidelity, that they, that they, or, or, adore the doctrine of Yahweh, that they may adorn, adorn the doctrine of of Yahweh, our Savior, in all things. Um, I look up the word "permanent" for you. Yeah. 
the word there for for purloin is uh, to steal something. <laughs> he says, steal, thief, rob, take, snatch, pilfer. And you're trying to you're trying to snatch the elect out of out of your house shy's hand. You know, here it is. You you're uh, you you're basically your house shy set up certain individuals to uh, teach his men to watch over his flock. But now that you 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 uh, are envious of those men and you have uh, left the camp or you left us, now you're trying to take other individuals with you. But what did your house shy say? He said that those those that are uh, are given into my hand, that no man can pluck them out of my hand. So you yeah. can't you can pluck these brothers that that are set up to be the elect out of your house shy's hand, man. Which means yeah. that you can't take them out of this truth. You're trying to draw them yeah. out of this truth to follow you. And yeah, there's a many there's a lot of people that are with you. Which shows you what? That shows you that the Lord ain't dealing with you because the elect would only be a few. But there's a bunch of guys and individuals that follow you. Yeah. There's going to be many that, that love the wicked, that like the wicked. But the, but the righteous is going to be hated. But it says, steal, thief, rob, take, snatch, pilfer, loot, appropriate. You 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 purloining. You're being a thief. You know. To lock you. Oh, I don't. I don't. That was it. Uh, uh, can you read it again? Because it said some good words in there. Verse ten. Uh, not prolonging, but showing all good uh, fidelity. Fidelity means faith. You you got a, a word called infidelity. That means to lack faith or to not be faithful. It goes back to the word fidel or fidel, which means to be faithful. That they oh. go ahead. That that they may adorn the doctrine of Yahweh our our Savior in all things. What does the word adorn means? To make more beautiful or attractive. You're not making the the doctrine of Yahweh Shimei Shai more beautiful or attractive. You know, here it is. You know, you're saying that Ruth had to be an Israelite, you know, uh, you know, in order to keep uh, your house shot's bloodline pure. Well, what about what about uh, our, our right, right, right. mother? You know, she was an Ammonitis. You know, you're not beautif beautifying the, the doctrine of the Lord, man. You're not beautifying this, this truth. What you're doing is you're trying to you, you're making it ugly. You know what's the one beautiful one thing about this truth that's beautiful? We, we speak on America being Babylon and that it will be destroyed, but you're trying to make it seem like the Vatican is is, is the Babylon that's going to be destroyed according to Scripture. What what beauty is it in that? Beauty is is seeing the the people that afflicted your people being tormented and being destroyed. When did the Vatican come over here and, and torment us? And if you truly believe that the Vatican was Babylon, what well, doesn't the scripture say we're supposed to prophesy against the uh, Babylon? So take your ass over to the Vatican and prophesy against it. So I can ask you. John, uh, anybody else got anything? I want to go further in uh, Titus, Titus 3. Did you describe that? Oh. Titus 3, 2. No, um, Titus, start at Titus 3. Uh, uh, put in mind to. Uh, oh, 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 uh, yeah, quote the verse. I know. Huh? Uh, quote where it's at, the chapter and the verse. Oh, uh, Titus 3. Three and, Three and what? Three and one. Oh, okay. Put in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrate, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, and to be no brawlers, but gentle and showing all meekness to all men. Now, now, to speak evil of no man, does that mean that we can't reveal 
uh, uh, the, the wickedness of, of Esau, <laughs> that we can't wish evil on Esau and of the other nations? Does that, does that mean that we have to uh, speak good things to the other nations and be an example for, uh, for the heathen? You know, because there was a certain individual uh, that was once amongst us who said we got to be a light to, 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 to the heathen. To the other nations, <laughs> not to the yeah. Israelites, not to the Gentile <laughs> or Israelite foreigners, yeah. but, but the, literally the actual other nations. No, but we're going to speak evil about the so called white man. We're going to tell of his destruction and his downfall yeah. as well as these other nations. Or, or does this mean that you can also speak about, you know, certain individuals that were Israelites who, who are now. Uh, teaching uh, 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 wayward doctrines and, te and, and falsifying the truth. Uh, well, not falsifying the truth because you can never do that. But but uh, uh, speaking false things and presenting it as it as it is the truth. No, but it means this means not to just if if I got a problem with this brother, just start to speak evil about this brother. You know, uh, but for no for no apparent reason. But hell, if, if a guy is speaking against the truth, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna say and we're gonna break down uh the, what what's right, and we're gonna tell that individual if you don't repent, and the Lord's gonna kill you, man. That's right. Right. A lot of guys get that misconstrued. They think just because you're rebuking them because of because of the things that they're teaching us off that that's you speaking evil against them. But no, brothers, brothers are prophesying. Brothers are telling the truth. We're the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushat. If you're lying and you're speaking things that are that are a lie, if you're speaking things that ain't the truth, you're not then you gonna be. You I was gonna say, you guys are gonna let you stomp around. Exactly. And just come and just toss mud and shit everywhere. We have to defend the gospel no matter who it's against. That's right. So that ain't speaking evil of you, man. You know, if you if you're going off and you and you know you're going off and you're doing what's wrong and you're gonna be destroyed, you're gonna be killed. And that's the bottom line. It's stone cold, and you have to say so. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can finish your scripture, right? Okay, uh, for we ourselves are sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers, divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another, but after that, the kindness and love of our power and Savior towards men appear, not by the works of righteousness, which they have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by washing of generations and renewing of the Holy Ghost. And I'm just going to go straight to the point uh, uh, that I was trying to get to is uh, uh, verse 8. This is a faithful thing. And these things I that will affirm constantly that they which have believed in Yahweh might be careful to remain good, maintain good works. And these are good and profitable unto men. But verse nine, but unto foolish questions, but to avoid foolish questions and re what's that read? Read the galleys? Genealogies. Genealogy and contentions and striving about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Verse 10. And that's the point that I want to bring out. But you know, the shit that you're doing, the Bible even says it's vain, it's worthless. It ain't about shit. So, you know, hey, man, it's simple. Just, hey, humble yourself, repent. And start teaching the word like you're supposed to be teaching it. That's yeah. right. Uh, you know, so with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh. Bashem, Kodash Raka, the honors to the Apostle Nettles, Great Millstone, uh, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, walk, walk, and learning, teaching the truth and sincerity. All right, to those that's watching. Don't uh don't turn over. All right, fight the demons every which way. All right, yeah. because one slip up and fight yourself too. Come on, fight yourself. One slip up, and that could be it. It only, it only take one mistake. 
All right, so with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.